Hey guys, it's All Things Knives, and I'm here with Obi Jigs. We're gonna be looking at Medford Knife and Tool today, and it's gonna be a blast. I'll bring you guys along with me. Let's go see what they have inside. Good to go. So you said this one's the Jefferson? The Jefferson. The Jefferson has the drop point and these specific tools with it. The flathead, or I mean, I'm sorry, the chisel, yeah. nail puller, the flathead, bottle opener, and the drop point blade. That's going to be a good one. And it little... will come with the orange handles on this. Awesome. All right, guys, here at Medford, this is all their steel that they've got. Video. Just to show you guys what they got here. I'm live here for about 30 hours. We have handles in here for all different models. Mini Marauder handles, more mini handles, more mini handles, another fighter blade, knock Marado handles. So you can do pretty big batches in this guy, can't you? So this is their uh, range they have for the anodization when they do the titanium. And then uh, basically just by picking out the voltage, they're able to decide what color they want. Yeah, I have it back here, but they do have like a heating process. Oh, there it is. Oh, there you go, heat gun. This is the Kydex that would go on your, your Medford knife. On the sheet. On the sheet there. That's really cool on these guys. So this guy right here is most likely what's going on right in there. So it goes from there to here. Ladies and handles here. Oh, that's perfect. really cool. Alright, so this is where they would straighten out the blades after heat treat if there's any warping. Their ovens are there. He's hard at work making foils for, for heat treatment. And then their, uh, their Rockwell machine is over on the other side there. Alright, so this is Medford's like shipping and receiving room. These are some knives that are going out to some dealers. You'll probably see a drop video from them about these guys. Every new Medford is sold in one of these awesome Medford boxes. Um, if you purchase it from a dealer, it has a sticker on the side. It'll say the dealer that it was sold to or sold from, and then it has a description on the sticker there. And then inside is this awesome S3 case with the Medford logo on there. And then inside is your knife. It'll be inside of one of these. We have our warranty and care maintenance card, just with all the maintenance type stuff and how to handle it if you need to take care of any small adjustments. And then we also have a sticker and patch kit there. And then we also have this uh, certificate of authenticity, which will have the date. And then on the back, it has the same sticker that's on the side the description of the knife and the dealer that it was sold from. Awesome. This. So those, uh, you said it was Fish and... Um, Thomas. Thomas. They do the sculpting work on they this. They do the sculpting and the coloring on wow. here. So this one's beautiful, but the next one's yeah. maybe even better. That's awesome. That is awesome. So the, the accent, the blue accent on there, so that means they probably had to anodize it. So what they did first times. was they sculpted it 
and then they anode it this color. Okay. And because this uh, green color is a lower number on that chart. And then, so they sculpted it, anode it, and the whole thing was probably all green. And then they faced the flats to make those flat parts silver. Actually, I take it back. I got my wording wrong. The green was a longer number to achieve. So they sculpted it, they anode it green, they faced it, and then it was silver, and then they anode it the pink violet color, which uh, doesn't take quite as long. It was one of the lower numbers. Uh, hey guys, so this is me just capping off that tour. We just left off on them showing us uh, one of the art pieces there that they do, or sorry, the really high-end artistic knives that Medford produces. Uh, before we walked into that room and a little bit after was their fitting room and I actually didn't get any footage of it because uh, we were actually talking about it. So in their fitting room, uh, it takes them about 40 minutes to put together a knife. They make sure all the tolerances are good. They lock tight it up and then what they do is they let it sit overnight. They come back and then they come and check the tolerances again so that after everything's solidified up that nothing else has changed. And so from there was actually the end of the tour, which you guys saw was basically just step by step. Uh, the one, there were two things there that I didn't quite get footage of. One was because it had another manufacturer's parts on it, and so they didn't, you know, they wanted to make sure that they weren't disclosing anything for for another manufacturer because they are an OEM. And so was their flat grinder for their bevels. Uh, I was able to see that. That was pretty cool. It just, you know, it was kind of doing its thing going back and forth, but it was on a larger scale than probably some of the stuff I've seen or even some of the stuff you guys have seen. Uh, and then the wire EDM machines. The wire EDM machines just weren't even going at the moment. Uh, and then another little area. So if you remember when they were opening it up, there was a bench there. The wire EDM machines were just behind there. And then, sorry, there's a f fly bugging me. Um, their wire EDM machines were there, and then they had like a laser marking for the um, ASK knives so that they could l laser mark, and then there was a thermal printer as well for the plastic on them. So they're going to be able to print all types of stuff. Uh, the Lindsay, who was giving us the tour, she had a custom one that I really liked that I thought was pretty cool. Uh, and so after that, we walked back to the lobby. Uh, basically, you know, just talked. Uh, and then actually on our way out, we met Greg. He shook me and Obi's hands. Uh, if you do get the chance and you do want to go see Medford, they're located in Phoenix, closer to like Deer Valley area. As you're going out on the, uh, I believe it was the 17 or the 101. But it's as you're, you're kind of going north out of the valley. Um, you should call Medford and you're able to do tours. I believe they do Monday to Thursday for their tours and I think it's 10 to 6 that they have that window open. They're uh, located here in the Phoenix metro area. So if you're a local Arizonan just like I am, uh, go ahead and give them a call. Super nice people. The tour was maybe about an hour. Um, they don't have an in-store shop like, you know, like a factory outlet like Spyderco does or Benchmain. But... They do, I believe you are able to get shirts from them too. So if you like their Medford shirts, you can get that from them. Uh, super nice people. They really are uh, making a great product. I mean, we even got to see like a list of their tolerances on what they do on either side of the knife. And there was tolerance, I mean, for everything, for everything. Uh, and so they're making a great American made product. Uh, I got to hold some of their stuff. They actually, uh, where last month they said they were above their quota. So that was cool. They're they're working hard pumping out knives and uh looks like their their workers are being treated well and getting taken care of for a 4-day work week. That's not bad. Um uh, but as always guys, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about the tour or any of the stuff there, let me know. But uh their uh their girl Lindsay who handles all the tours she's super nice and is more than willing I think to answer any questions as regards to that but uh great American made company and I hope to be able to do more tours like this and get you guys more footage but as always guys thanks for watching stay sharp